Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Dash Brandon. Today we are looking at the transfer tool for Dungeon Defenders Awakened and I'm a little I'm a little worried. <laughs> so the one time transfer deletes your characters, transfers your legacy characters and gear to play, resets all legacy gear upgrades, refunds the gold spent on upgrades to a bank cap of 300 billion, applies 1.0 balances, disables further play on legacy. Because apparently now they're getting rid of Legacy. Apparently they are like, this was a terrible idea. And we're going to get rid of it. Which, I'm so confused on that. My problem is that when I go to Legacy... We'll, we'll look at that warning in a moment. Uh, these are my characters from play. So I feel like they accidentally copied over my Legacy characters. Um, I'm level 93 instead of level 92, and I don't have my transcendent gear from Legacy, which, I mean, I guess it's fine. But if we go on in here, we will be removing Legacy and the Legacy Transfer Tool from play options with our next big patch in the coming weeks. So that tells us where we'll get uh, Massacre Survival then, I believe, because I don't think we have it. Um, so, yeah. You'll need to use the transfer tool, blah, blah, blah. Do you still want to proceed? Is what they ask you. So we're going to hit transfer. And we're probably going to be struck with disappointment. Because I, I don't see a way of not being disappointed here. Or currently being migrated. Restarting DDA is now required. Okay. So we close it. Or we reopen it. You can see all the games that I wanted to play on YouTube here. And some of the ones I didn't. In fact, a lot of those I haven't played on, on here. Come on, there we go. All right, so now we only have play. But is it gonna be, what? Sweet baby Jesus. It is my actual characters. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy. We've got we've got 12.1 billion gold to do our upgrades. Uh, we lost a level, but we've gained so much. <laughs> um, if we go to campaign here. Uh, yeah, all of our stuff transferred over. I have since done these on my other character, but now I get to go do them again, which isn't really that big of a deal. Because uh, it's going to go super fast to just knock it all out. That's pretty awesome. I'm jazzed. To unlock, complete the Deeper Well campaign in Massacre. Thought we did that. Campaign. Yeah. So, Massacre Survival is not out yet. Which is, that's just fine. Because now i got to catch up. i got a lot of upgrades to do. Um, before these were 337, some of these items, especially the, I know the weapon was, so it's interesting. Yeah, we still have a legendary minigun. Don't, don't at me, bro. Um, yeah, so this is really, I like it. Um, we can just go ahead and power level up our stuff. And uh, we can just uh, we can get back to playing the game. I find it so weird that they hid your legacy from you. So you're like, uh, what am I going to be playing on? <laughs> also, if you hold control, this is a tip that I saw on the Discord. You can do 25 points at a time. If you hold shift, you can do 5 points at a time. That was a game changer for me. So if we do 202 upgrades into Fortify on our Transcendent Weapon, it's going to cost us 750 million, which isn't really that big of a cost considering how much we're getting. Uh, if we look at our stats... Oh, it's broken! Oh no, we got the UI bug. Oh no, that happens somewhat often to me. I don't know why that is. Anyways, I... See, we can't even click this, we just have to alt F4 the game. 
Um, I am going to go about and uh, start leveling up my stuff again. This is a quickie video. I just wanted to show that the transfer was out. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Dash Brandon. Bye-bye.